Hi, I'm Molly, and today I'm going to show you how to create a volunteer project with Shifts. The Shifts feature lets admins divide group projects up by date, time, or role. This tutorial is going to be two parts. In the first part, we'll create and customize a project with Shifts, and in the second part, we'll look at how to manage participants for a project with Shifts, and also how to create reports. For today, I'm going to create a project that benefits a local school that's having a winter clothing drive. I need to recruit a bunch of people quickly and make sure that they're available for specific dates and times. So I'm going to add this to an existing special event that we have for our employee week of caring. So I'm going to select share the spirit week and I should create a new project from scratch since now I can use shifts. I'm going to give my project a name, Winter Clothing Drive for Evans Middle School. Next, I'm going to enter my location. There we go. So I'm going to keep scrolling. Um, now, in the schedule section, I'm going to say, yes, this opportunity has shifts. And next, I can start entering um, information about my first shift. So this shift is called morning shift, collect and organize, organize clothing. Okay, I'm gonna select the date, which is December 10th, a Saturday. And the start time is 9 a.m. The end time is noon, and we're looking for 10 volunteers. Now that I've entered this information, I can either click finish and then create a new shift, or I can use the copy feature, which is actually what I'm gonna do because my next shift is very similar to the one I just entered. So I do that, I can see that my morning shift is now a summary bar and I have a copy of my morning shift. So I'm just gonna change the title of this to afternoon shift. And I'm gonna change the times. So this one starts at noon and it ends at three. And it still needs 10 volunteers and the rest of this is the same. So I'm gonna click finish. Um, and then I'm gonna create a new shift. This one is distribute clothes and this one takes place the next day which is Sunday December 11th and the start time is 9 a.m. and this goes until 1 p.m. and for this we're going to need 15 people and now I'm going to click finish great so I've got my three shifts entered in I'm going to finish the rest of the opportunity information. So, help middle schoolers dress for winter. Um, we don't need any special skills for this opportunity, just able bodies. Um, I am going to enter a photo. Um, I already have it uploaded, clothing drive. So it will make my um, listing look great for volunteers. And then to help folks find this listing, I'm gonna select some cause areas. So this is benefiting children and youth and community. And let's see, yes, kids and teens can participate um, as well as 55 plus. Perfect, so now I'm done entering my information, so I'm going to click save. Okay, so now I am on the admin details page. Uh, where I can see everything that's important about this project. And the first thing I'm going to do here is publish this opportunity so that volunteers can start signing up. So I'm going to click Publish, and then I'm going to click Preview so that I can see what this looks like for um, volunteers as they're browsing volunteer opportunities. So I can see all my shifts. I can see that volunteers will click Sign Up if they want to participate, and I think this looks great. So now I'm going to go back to the admin details page and um, 
I'm going to make some, some customizations here. So I'm not sure that it makes sense for Jessica to be the admin. She's in charge of the overall event, which is why she's been assigned as the admin for this project by default. But I want to change it to myself. So I'm going to click um, Assign right here. And I'm going to enter my own email address and click Save. Great. So now I've been assigned as the admin and I've been signed up to each of the shifts. I also want to go over here to the recruitment tab um, and turn on guest sign up because I want our employees to be able to sign up friends and family if um, they want to bring, bring guests. So I'm going to click on here. And then I'm going to sit back and see if people sign up. Be sure to come back for part two of this tutorial to see how to manage participants and create reports. And if you have any questions about anything we covered today, please contact your CRM or visit the Volunteer Match Help Center. Thanks.